गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे ऑनवर्स वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर एक्सक्लूसिव एवोल्यूशन सीरीज सो इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस सीरीज दैट इज थ्योरीज ऑफ एवोल्यूशन ऑफ लाइफ आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस टॉपिक इन थ्री पार्ट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट so our universe is 20 billion years old big bang theory explains the origin of universe big bang theory says that before the origin of universe all matters were compacted into a very small ball this ball was called a singularity singularity means single right yes from a single such ball our universe was formed and this ball had an infinite density and intense heat before this event space and time did not exist a sudden explosion of singularity occurred which emitted lots of energy due to the huge energy what happened first the university began to expand the temperature came down hydrogen and helium formed and condensed themselves due to gravitation and formed the galaxies so galaxy is the huge collection of stars dust gases and other particles actually stars form from an accumulation of gas and dust which collapses due to gravity and starts to form stars galaxies are held together by gravity our galaxy is the milky way which includes the solar system earth was formed around 4.5 billion years back that time no air existed hence oxygen was absent water vapor methane co2 and ammonia covered the surface uv rays from sun broke up water into hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen is lighter it escaped oxygen combined with ammonia and methane to form water co2 and others as the temperature decreased the water condensed into water vapor and fell as rain to feel all the depressions and formed oceans life appeared 4 billion years ago that is 500 million years after the formation of earth there are different theories regarding evolution of life such as conventional religious theory cosmozoic theory theory of abiogenesis theory of biogenesis upper and halden theory etc we will talk about them one by one first let's talk about conventional religious theory this theory is also called the theory of spatial creation according to this theory all living organisms that we see today were created as such the diversity was always the same since creation and will be same in future earth is only 4000 years old so this theory was rejected now we know that the organisms we see today are very much different from their ancestors previous creatures evolved and formed present organisms and the diversity among living organisms were different and will be different in future and of course our earth is 4.5 billion years old not 4000 years old 
So this theory was strongly rejected. Next is Cosmozoic theory. This theory states that life comes from outside. Early Greek thinkers thought that units of life called spores were transferred to different planets including Earth. This is called panspermia, which means life exists throughout the universe. This theory does not provide strong evidences, hence gets rejected. Next is theory of abiogenesis. This theory was also called theory of spontaneous generation. In 17th century, in 17th century, this theory suggested that life arose from non-life such as decaying and rotting matter like straw, mud, etc. Van Helmont developed the scientific recipe for generation of mice. He wrapped wheat kernels in a sweat soaked shirt and left it in an open container for 20 days. 20 days later, baby mice appeared. This theory was rejected by Pasteur's experiment. That experiment we will see tomorrow. So this is very funny, right? If you keep food and that is also in dirty, humid place, creatures will definitely come from outside to have that. Once they are satisfied with the food, next is the reproduction. So babies automatically come out. This doesn't prove babies appear spontaneously from the food. So this is all about today's lecture. We will continue this series. If you don't want to miss the series, please stay in touch. Thank you for watching my video.